Ellie, this smells of a trap game. And I'll be honest with you, when I first started to dig into this game, I thought full well I'm going to be on New Mexico. They were very good to me in the Mountain West Conference tournament. Uh, we had a great Mountain West tournament. So uh, going to be sad to see all these teams go by the wayside in uh, the early round of the big dance. And this is the one team that people do like because – Let's face it, uh, they rolled down the stretch. They won uh, five of their last six games. Their only loss was a two-point loss to Utah State, who was the best team in the Mountain West from start to finish until they stubbed their toe in the Mountain West Conference Tournament. All that said, uh, throw in the seedings. And I always say it, I'm generally going to side with the people in Las Vegas that do this for a living uh, that actually set the lines, bet the games, rather than a bunch of guys sitting around in a room talking about what they saw and putting rankings up. I do that whether it be football pools, whether it be basketball uh, pools, the rankings. Uh, I'm always going to side with the Vegas bookmakers. But this is going to be the one time I'm going to make an exception, Kelly, and I'll ride the wave of letting the Mountain West crash and burn because Clemson is that team that I don't understand how the hell they got a bid into the tournament. So why do I want them? Well, sometimes that team that gets called out for not deserving to be here really gets a chip on their shoulder and they come to play. Now, if everybody says you shouldn't be here and you're here, and then you lose to a Mountain West team, does it get any worse than that? It doesn't. I think you're going to see Clemson come to play. And honestly, they don't deserve to be here. I would have put St. John's in, Indiana State in, or I would have put in my own Pitt Panthers above uh, Clemson in this tournament. But they're here, so there's nothing that we can do about it. Uh, we'll go ahead and take it. I'm going to ride with them. Dogs are barking, uh, if you hear my dog in the background. Uh, so he likes to play. We're going with Clemson here. Let's go ahead and take them as our play here. That's Clemson, uh, plus the points here. Mild upset. Can you really call somebody beating a Mountain West Conference team outright an upset? Is that something? Yeah. I mean, it technically would be a mild upset. The joys of doing a live show, though, dogs barking. I voted already in our Slack channel. We're doing every bet on it live from now on. It's just way better content. Uh, and then now nobody can edit out all my mean remarks to Marco. Joe Ranieri, uh, look, Clemson losing back-to-back -back games as a favorite. Apparently makes them a play-on situation here. I just don't know. I think that there's a couple of Mountain West teams, and the reason why I did not bet that under just yet, as I mentioned, I like Utah State. I also like New Mexico to get a win here. And while I agree the Mountain West has not been great, I think there's a couple of asterisks, right? And, and Ralph told us the only asterisk is San Diego State. Your thoughts on this one? Yeah, that makes sense, actually, uh, Kyle, with uh, with uh, San Diego State there. Obviously, they've had a couple of uh, pretty good back-to-back -back seasons here now. I, I still, though, is I'm doing it for one, I'm doing it for all here. And uh, I am all aboard the Fade the Mountain West train. Uh, buckle up here, people. And I think it happens once again uh, here to New Mexico, who quite honestly is far a lot of people all over New Mexico train now, given the fact that, you know, just uh, a week and a half ago, uh, they have been in do or die situations here because they lost a bunch of games this year that they shouldn't have. And I'll tell you, I'll just go to the matchup with this. I think P.J. Hall could very well be uh, one of the best players on the team. We have a New Mexico uh, on the court here for Clemson. New Mexico is a team that loves to get to the rim. Cal. They love, they're not a big three-point shooting team, but they are a great team uh, when it comes to getting inside the paint and putting the ball up there in and around the rim. Well, the problem is Clemson is 10th in field goal percentage defense at the rim here this year. It's exactly what they prevent better than anybody that New Mexico has faced in the Mountain West. You also have a top 20 team in Clemson as far as uh, experience goes. In fact, I think Ken Palm had him rated somewhere in the uh, somewhere in the 20s 
or statistically wise, bringing back the most experience. And that showed, Cal, because they have all their big wins for Clemson came on the road this year. And I think that speaks to how much experience they do have here. Again, I said it, ACC over Mountain West, just about anybody over Mountain West. Uh, yes, we can question Clemson getting there, but I just think this is a matchup that favors Clemson style-wise, and I think the experience will come through here for Clemson, and I'll take the team with who, what I think is going to be the best player on the court in P.J. Hall. I'll take Clemson and whatever points you want to give me here.